You're sitting there using your computer and all of a sudden there's a power outage. Of course the laptop keeps going because there's a battery inside, but our Wi-Fi router, no more. The lights have turned off because there's no more electricity. But did you know there's an answer to that? All we have to do is remove the power adapter that came with it and then actually plug in this special one which has a battery built in. That's the magic here, it has a battery inside. So even if the power goes out, you'll see that your Wi-Fi router will continue running. And we haven't even plugged this into the wall yet. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So obviously it's now plugged into the wall. We have our power, Wi-Fi and signal lights. Even if I turn off the electric, see, continues working. Turn on, turn off, turn on. That's the beauty here, that even if the power goes out, the battery inside keeps our Wi-Fi running. The thing you have to remember is that your ISP, the telco, they have battery backups, they have generators. Even if your home loses electricity, they will not lose electric for a long time. So they can continue providing internet to you as long as you can power your modem, your Wi-Fi router, whatever it is that you're actually using to connect to the internet. Now, there's actually a lot of products out there just like this. And I'm not necessarily saying that you should buy this one. I'm just saying that you should consider a DC UPS. Now, why do I keep saying DC UPS rather than UPS? Everybody knows what a regular UPS is. Let me grab one. So this is the UPS you're more commonly familiar with that plugs into the wall. This one, wait for the beep. You're, you're probably gonna recognize that, right? Every time the power goes out, beep, 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 beep. These are very good. They're very simple for people to use but they really waste power and they waste money because you're going from AC to DC, back to AC, then back to DC again. So there's so many losses along the way. And honestly, the batteries do not last that long, especially here in the Philippines where the heat is so high, the temperature is so high. You're lucky if you can get a year or two, at least in my experience. And I have a lot of UPSs. I've been through a lot of UPSs. I've replaced a lot of batteries. They're just not an efficient way of doing things, at least not for small gadgets like this. And actually this little DC UPS has a trick that I haven't seen with other UPSs. Do you see this little connector on the back here? Well, they actually allow you to buy and install an external battery to expand the capacity of your UPS. So we plug it into the back like that and immediately we've increased the capacity. This is just two 18650 lithium batteries in series. That's why it's 7.4 volts. And now I can run my modem, my router for even longer. So really that's actually a nice feature, the fact that you can expand it like that. And this is only two batteries. You could buy much bigger external batteries than this. Now, one thing to consider is that when the power does come back, it's going to be charging the internal battery, the external battery, and it's going to be powering the router. So it's not the fastest at recharging the batteries. I measured anywhere between five and 10 watts. It's hard to measure because it fluctuates depending on the load, depending on the temperature, depending on the size of your external battery. There's a lot of factors, but five to 10 watts is what I was able to measure. Now, of course, you do not have to connect an external battery. This is completely optional. I bought this completely separately. I just like the idea that you can expand the capacity so easily. So what do you need to consider when you're looking for a DC UPS? Well, first of all is the voltage. This one can actually do five volts, nine volts or 12 volts. It has a selector switch on the back. The other thing is how much power can it output? This one specifically is 12 volts, one amp, so potentially up to 12 watts. Although in my testing, it was more like 10 to 11 watts because the voltage dropped under a heavier load. Another thing you want to consider is the size of the plug itself, the barrel connector. Now, pretty much most routers, modems, um, Wi-Fi access points, they use the same size connector and it pretty much fits universally. But depending on your device, for example, I do have a router here, which you can see does not actually work with this cable because they've used a different DC barrel socket there. 
that's quite unusual. Honestly, most of the time, this is the one that works. If not, you can buy an adapter or even a set of adapters that can plug into pretty much everything. In fact, this does not have to be for a modem router. It could be something for a DC fan, for example. There's a lot of different things that run on 12 volts. Okay, so you've considered the voltage, the maximum power output to make sure it can power your router, the barrel type, the next thing obviously is capacity. How big is the battery inside? This one claims to have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside, which means it must be a 21700. Problem is I cannot see inside because it's been welded shut. A lot of the time people lie about the capacity of the battery. For example, they might put a 3,000 milliamp hour and then say it's 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. It's a very common problem in gadgets that have batteries. And actually that's why I have a preferred type of DC UPS, which I'll show you now. This is the one that I use for pretty much anything in my home that runs on 12 volts, whether it's a modem, access point, a DC fan, CCTV, anything, NAS. Because the nice thing about this is you actually put in your own batteries. So you only buy this as a case and then you buy your own batteries. This is how it looks inside. You can see I've loaded it with six pieces of 35,000 milliamp hour 18650 batteries. I bought these from a trusted source. I was able to capacity test them myself. They are genuine 3,500 milliamp hour. It's a respected brand. So I know exactly what's in my UPS and I'm getting the maximum quality the maximum capacity actually i wish that they made these in like a 12 or even a bigger series because i just want bigger capacity bigger 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 capacity but six is okay honestly that's still a pretty good dc ups and it can run my stuff for like many hours because the reality is even if you look at your modem router and it says something like 12 volts one amp which is 12 watts a lot of the time they actually sit somewhere between 3 watts, 4 watts, and then they just fluctuate. They go up depending on the usage. So even if it says 12 volts, 1 amp, the chances are most of the time it consumes less power. So what's the downside of this style of UPS? Well, basically it's going to be more expensive because you're going to pay for the device itself. You're going to buy each individual battery and you can't buy them at the same price as a factory that's buying tens of thousands. You need to buy a little adapter like this if it doesn't already come with it. This goes from the UPS to your modem and then you'll use your original 12 volt power adapter to actually charge this. So basically it's just more expensive, but you get to know exactly what's inside. So, you know, it's up to you how prepared you want to be, if you want to take it to extremes or not. But at the very least, I recommend a DC UPS for your modem router, just so that you can stay online. Because most of the time, the telcos have a battery backup. So even though your home has no power, the telco, they still have power. They can still provide internet. So that's pretty much it for today's video. This type is pretty much the simplest for most people to use because you literally just remove your old power adapter, plug this in, and there you go, it's now on a UPS. If the power goes out, it continues running as if nothing happened. When the power comes back, it still continues running as if nothing happened because of that battery inside. So yeah, something to consider. Thanks for watching.